her first and only confirmed marriage from 1988 to 1992 with Dixon Poon, who was and still one of the richest businessmen in Hong Kong and the British Commonwealth, with his massive retail empire. He owns the iconic British luxury department chain Harvey Nichols, and made headlines for donating 10 million to Oxford and then 20 million British pounds to King's College London. And yup, he also hands out with Prince William. Michelle definitely had to thank Dixon for helping launch her movie career in Hong Kong. With his enormous wealth and connections, Dixon put the then 22-year-old Miss Malaysia pageant Michelle onto television ad spots with big stars like Jackie Chan. Her first breakup film, Yes, Madam, was produced by Dixon's own production company, which was all started for Michelle. Shockingly, right when her career was about to take off. Michelle announced her retirement in 1988 to marry Dixon. Some say this was because she sustained very bad injuries from her stunt actions, while others say this retirement was to satisfy Dixon's wishes for her to be a housewife. Yet this sacrifice didn't work out. Michelle returned back to the big screen after the couple separated in 1991. And her career was on the roll since then. In 1992, she starred in the blockbuster film *Police Story 3: Super Cop* alongside Jackie Chan, which solidified her position as the queen of action. In 1993, she had six movies, one after another. And in 1997, Michelle received global attention for her Hollywood debut film *Tomorrow Never Dies*. 